mark. Get set. Go. In 2017, I was training, actually training for a marathon and just felt super ran down. Something didn't feel right. Thought I'd ate something wrong. Just, you know, back and forth, trying to figure out what was going on. And that kind of started a chain of events that lasted pretty much all the way to the transplant, February 25th, 22. I got my heart. After that, that was fun. You're right back here at Colt going through intensive, basically cardiac rehab. You learn how to use your new heart. We always tell our patients, healthier you go into transplant, healthier you come out of transplant. To be very honest, the one thing, if there is one thing that really helped Mr. Wilkerson to get through everything, is what he was doing before. His body was in such a great shape. Even though his body was going through, like, basically no blood supply and his heart was going out of rhythm, he was still, his reserve was so much because of what he had done before, how much he had trained his body. I think that was the one thing and only one thing I think that got him through the whole thing. Always been someone who's pushed my body, worked out, athletic, you know, grew up high school and college running, so ran track and cross country. Now kind of starts the journey of, okay, what's next? And I always watched the mini marathon on TV and saw so it was like, you know, how cool would it be to do that? So that was like a big goal and, you know, let my doctor know and he's like, you know, He's like, at your, your appointment, everything looks good. So he's like, I'll give you the green light to go ahead and train for it and do it. I do the Indy Mini every year. So he turns out he was doing the Indy Mini too. Um, and I got a little apprehensive because he told me his times and I wasn't even anywhere close to that. So on the day of the run, he finishes, well, I want to say a full 30 minutes before me. And then I was trying to avoid him after the run. Then he starts texting me. He's like, hey, doc, are you available? And then I come and then, you know, we had a good time, had some nice pictures, but he tells everyone that he beat me on the day of the half marathon. And he also says he was sick. Sick, has a transplant and beat his cardiologist. So, um, but uh, you know, it's okay. <laughs> so it wasn't long after the transplant, probably a month later I learned about the transplant games and it was going on in San Diego that year, but obviously I wasn't ready and no place to do it. I was like, well, it'd be cool to do it in 2024 and then found out it was gonna be in Birmingham, Alabama, which ironically, that's where my donor came from. It's from Alabama. So my donor family is in Alabama. I've met them a few times. They're gonna be at the transplant games to cheer me on. We're gonna hang out and have a cookout and just, you know, enjoy the, the fellowship with one another. So it's kind of like a full circle moment for me. Like, it made perfect sense. It was a no-brainer. Like, yeah, we're going to Birmingham, Alabama to, to do the transplant game and, you know, honor my donor. My donor, luckily his 18-year-old daughter made the decision to, a little emotional, sorry, but, she made the decision to donate her dad's organs and save my life. So, you know, not only is he my hero, she's also my hero because they're both played a big part. Mm -hmm.